In your live shows, you're, you're very energetic, and because of technology, and for a number of years now, uh, you can play, uh, there's, a, there's a radio device on the, on the guitar that enables you to just run anywhere and play your guitar in the crowd. Yes. When you run out into those big stadium crowds, I would think that would get a little out of control sometimes. Uh, you know, you've got these yeah. people going crazy, you're trying to play, actually keep up with a song, or... We did, a, we did a thing one night, uh, I was playing, I go out through the crowd, and I'm running through the crowd with my guitar, and this woman came over and sort of grabbed my guitar and was, you know, waving and everything. And I'm like, fine, you know, and, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm keep moving through the crowd. And I noticed that she's just like tagging along with me and she's <laughs> latched onto my guitar. And I'm like, hi, okay, give me the guitar. <laughs> and, and the further I go, she is just keeping up with me and just right there. And I'm thinking, this woman is crazy. And I'm trying to almost kick her off the guitar, <laughs> you know, literally. And, and I'm pulling the guitar neck so aggressively. And I look down. She's got this top that I've snagged in my guitar. <laughs> and I've actually been pulling her along for about 40 feet. <laughs> she's, she's trying to get untangled. And, yeah. and, um, Poor woman, she's like, I'm not even that big a fan. <laughs> she was actually security, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, um, that is hilarious. Yeah, so I untangled it all like a fish from the net and her, thing, her whole top I is just so. sagging yeah. down here. Yeah. And Rip. <laughs> I just think that was like, yeah, and, and then what about like uh, the, the y y when you're trying to communicate, like with an audience that's that big, you know, uh, you, you're talking to huge arena crowds and you're trying to make a connection. Is that difficult if you're trying to, do you know what I mean? Yeah. In a more intimate setting, I would think well, it would be I mean, easier. Yeah, and a lot of the times, I mean, depending on the place, you can sort of, people are you're screaming things out and you, you, you'll hear, you know, much better things these days than I used to hear. Uh, but this girl yelled out, uh, one night we're in the serene and this girl yelled out, will you sign my leg? And I thought, well, that's, this will be a good moment. I'll bring her up on stage and we'll sign the leg and everything. And I said, sure. And I see her head disappear in amongst all the people. I'm like, what's going on? Next minute, her head comes up and she throws this thing at the stage. <laughs> and she's unhooked this prosthetic leg. Just a prosthetic. <laughs> and so, so I sign it and then I'm thinking, What's, what's the proper prosthetic leg returning etiquette? Yeah. Right? Do, you, do you throw it back? No. Do you, do you crowd surf it? Do you, do you make her hop up onto the stage? No, you, you don't do it. Everything you just said right there is wrong. What, what would you do? How would you get that back? I'd, first, I'd like be like, thank you, and hang on to it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the crowd would get so mad. They would turn on me. I don't know what you do. That is so, I thought I had, I thought I had seen it all at this point. I've never seen anything like that. And but that yeah. Does, that makes you you can't really throw it back. Not really. Right. I, I sort of gingerly crowd surfed it back and it, it made its way. Uh, now, uh, I understand that you, uh, not too long ago, you had to have vocal surgery. You had serious vocal issues. Is I did that right? at the end of uh, 2011. Yeah. 2011. Yeah. And you had to have surgery for it. I did, yeah. I had a nodule on one cord and a polyp on the other, but I, I got them removed and it's been good ever since. Was it one of those things where they said, okay, uh, after the surgery or before, you know, you can't speak for a while? I, yeah, well, I couldn't speak for quite a few weeks and... Because um, I would not be able to not speak. That was the I, hard part. Yeah. Actually, it wasn't the hard part not speaking. It was, it, well, it's, it's in communicating with Nick and our kids was, you know, it's being silent every day, day in, day out was was challenging, particularly, it, you don't want to have an argument with your wife when you can't speak. That's, that's all I can say, because I'm writing on a board, and when you get really heated, I'm like breaking pens, you know? I'm like, it doesn't help to write really hard when you're angry, but right. it's, you can't help it, you know? I'm there are like, only so is... many exclamation points you can use to get your point across. I think I was writing, this is unacceptable, you know, and I broke the pen and... Uh... <laughs> that's just sad. Yeah. Was... This is unacceptable. Yeah, I, it's... <laughs> No wonder I broke it. Where do you see what I've got? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it went down that well too, yeah.